It's the middle of the night. I can't sleep because I have intellectually, historically researched the ruling class of this planet to a very deep level. I have read more than 50 books. I have read hundreds of their white papers. We have republished sections or in their entirety this information uh, on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. The truth is so much more horrific than I can even break down in this short video, but I'm begging you to learn about population reduction, eugenics, social Darwinism, the New World Order, their own writings. I'm begging you. You know, I did a short video showing how Nathan Rothschild owns all these yachts and helicopters and private islands, and they've set up the private carbon bank to tax every human activity on the planet and pay them for the right to breathe. And Al Gore and others and George Soros are involved. This is so sick. And they've got David Cameron, the so-called conservative in England, going along with all this. Uh, they're setting it up here in the United States. It's happening. And then they are exempt from all the rules, not just in their own private lives, where they have four or five kids and yachts and helicopters and palaces, but they're exempt in business. General Electric is exempt from all the carbon taxes and regulations they put on other coal-powered plants that provide more than 50% of our power. The list goes on and on. But I shot this video titled, Death-Loving Media Attacks Children, because they attacked the Beckhams, the soccer player, and his rock star wife for having four children and are you know, demonizing them in the U.S. and British media. So I went over that in this video. So please watch Death-Loving Media Attacks children uh, after you've seen this video. And I showed examples of Ted Turner, who's got five children, who calls for a global one-child policy. Uh, I showed again the Rothschild pushing all this and the way they live. But I, then I spent about 30 minutes just trying to chronicle the British monarchy's public wealth. Now She can suspend Parliament in her Commonwealth, and she's done it three times in the last three years in uh, Canada. She just fires the Parliament whenever she wants. They don't do what she says. Same thing in Australia. She owns much of BP, British Petroleum, a lot of Dutch Roll Shell with her cousin, Queen Beatrix. These people's wealth is a state secret in England and in the Netherlands. They admittedly, on their own official website of the monarchy, have more than 100 family palaces. But this is their administrative palace where they also live when they're in London. Uh, the real estate is estimated itself to be worth more than $10 billion. Which is, but when you go over this, guess how many rooms it has. 775 rooms. And this is just one of 100-plus palaces. They have their own giant organic farms. I've seen them on PBS admitting it. These are the people, if you can go get the documents who published them, who pushed programs. The White House Science Art talks about it for sodium fluoride, reduced fertility, increased cancer in the water. They also add radioactive isotopes in the water. I forced this out in mainstream news, so now they're saying, we don't know why there's radiation in the water, you know, all over Texas and other areas. It's mined in the same phosphate mines that uh, have the uranium in it. And these people are so sick. And continuing here, here's uh, one of um, Al Gore's many mansions. But again, you shouldn't be able to take a hot bath, Al Gore and Prince Philip and folks have said, and they have tell school kids they're killing the whales and the, literally that polar bears can't swim when they hunt on the ice flows into the best swimming land animal confirmed to swim over 300 miles. They tell them they can't swim and are dying. And, and then meanwhile, I'm not against wealth, but most of this is from carbon taxes and carbon trading and all his scams. This is just one of many homes, and of course, this is near the beach. He's not too worried about the end of the world and the rising sea levels he predicted that haven't happened. And it's just a total scam. Uh, here's the royal trains. They don't just have yachts and uh, helicopters and jets. They have, that's the old train. Now they have five new ones, armored luxury trains for the family to travel. Uh, that's the uh, British royal trains. Oh, all taxpayer paid for. They have all their own secret wealth, but I saw an article last year uh, during the winter where they were uh, cutting the um, gas allotments for pensioners, retired people in England, including World War II vets. And they were saying, well, it's for the earth. You, 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 we have to have austerity to pay the bankers their trillions. Uh, you can't have your uh, gas allotment. You know, when it was sub-zero, one of the coldest winters 
since they was second coldest winter since they started uh, taking records in 1650 something. I forget the exact date. And then it turned out that the hundreds of palaces, over a hundred, were fueled on a welfare uh, funding system meant for the public. Uh, that the palaces, with their gas heating, are funded in England with taxpayer money for welfare recipients. <laughs> And of course they're saying let them eat cake. They see us as rabble. You know, this guy, Ted Turner, has got five kids and he says you shouldn't be allowed to have more than one. I mean, he openly says it. And then you talk about it and you're a conspiracy theorist. When it's all they talk about, I mean, here's the Guardian. How dare the Beckhams have a fourth child. They had three boys and wanted a girl, so they had another one. And remember, the entire West has on average a 1.5 replacement. For every mommy and daddy, they have one and a half children average. Italy's the worst in Europe. I mean, the, the, but, but, but notice the globalists all fund actual third world population blooms. In their own documents, they admit to destabilize the third world. But here, they, they target Westerners. Why? In their own eugenics, they don't just have what they call positive and negative eugenics. When you read deeply, it's the porch eugenicists that think they're improving things. When you read deeply into it, they say, we've got to target the achievers the little boys that raise their hand too much in class, put them on Ritalin. We've got to break up the family. So the woman works all the time and is forced to work, even if she doesn't want to. So the state owns and runs the children. And it goes on and on and on. And of course, I showed you the British leaders meeting with the Rothschilds, who openly, openly are calling for carbon taxes and publish books that are in the schools written by the Rothschilds telling kids they shouldn't be able to take a hot bath. Prince Philip promotes that while they live like absolute kings. I mean, this just goes on and on. Ladies and gentlemen, you better wake up to this. You better understand these people are dangerous, and you better understand they're genetically engineering every major crop, including grass in your front yard. And in every major GMO crop, they find that it's been engineered to reduce fertility in all mammal species. In guinea pig studies, with many of the plants they've got that are now on store shelves, within three generations, they're totally sterile. The sperm count in the West is down by 87%. Cancer has doubled in the last 10 years. Diabetes, they are killing us, and they openly write about how they're doing it. So they can have four children, so they can have the whole world to themselves. They don't need us anymore. They write articles like the future doesn't need us. Uh, Why the future doesn't need us by um, Bill Joy and, 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 and Wired. And, and all these other publications where they say, we've got computers, we've got robots now. Human life isn't just cheap. It's garbage. Let's get rid of the masses. The world is ours. We'll have the life ascension technology. We'll have the future. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the big issue. This is what world government's all about. This is what the post-industrial world is about, shutting off our resources. Please wake up and warn everyone you know. Watch my film, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. It's free on YouTube, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. Get it out to everyone you know, and I'll see you on the radio tomorrow, 11 a.m., Infowars.com. God bless you all. I'm trying to go to bed now. Visit Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.